Ah, finally, our last student, the mute new kid. We were about to start. Take a seat. Hi, I'm new here. I'm guessing you're the other new kid. We can stick together if you want. I know we won't talk a lot because, you know, you're mute, but I don't mind. New kids stick together. <laughs> New kids table. Anything y'all talkative ass kids want to share with the class? Thanks. Now, as I was saying, I'm about to read the course instructions. Every day we will have a new lesson followed by a test. Then you get to go home. Pretty simple, right? Now, because it's only the first day of school, we won't have a lesson today. Only a math review test. I will give you a few minutes to catch up with your friends or get to know the person you're sitting in front of. Then we'll start. Back to our convo, I guess. <laughs> 
Forgot to tell you, my name's Chris. I also forgot to tell you, I I've moved around a lot. Never got a chance to make any friends. If I don't make any friends in the first five days, I will shoot up the school. Can you be my friend? All right, kids. Test time. Test is done, kids. See you tomorrow, friend. Pass all the tests and you will get a special gift from me. Oh, would you look at that, Twig? Another new kid. It's our lucky year. Two new kids. We are the boss in this school. Why aren't you saying anything? Don't worry about him. He's just making sure we're on the same page. And I'm sure we are now. Hey, so you're the new mute guy. I'm Amanda. I like mute guys. There's just something sexy about your silence. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, hey, you're the new guy, <laughs> the mute one. I'm Emma, and, well, this is kind of embarrassing, um, I'm like, um, kind of shy. I hate walking to class alone because everyone stares at me. Can you walk in with me? Of course everyone's attention is going to be on the new guy and not me. <laughs> I'll follow you.
Hello everyone, and welcome back to the place of learning and knowledge, the school. Today we have a special person. We have a guest speaker. We have Mr. Frackin' Shit. Thank you, Mr. Frack and Shit, for this motivational speech. Hey, buddy. Yesterday, when I got back from school, I was pretty bored. You too, most likely. What do you say we go out after this test? Uh, we can go get some pizza, then chill at the lake. I also want to talk to you about this girl I find cute. Emma, the quiet girl. I think I like her. Now, our test today won't be as simple as yesterday. It's still a math lesson, though. So if you were listening today and you did yesterday's homework, you should ace this test easily. All right, kids, test time. Test is done, kids. Let's go, I'm excited. The lake's at the end of town, I'll follow you. I just want to give you a warning, kiddo. I saw you talking to Emma and walking in with her. You better stay away from the creep. Trust me. Can I have a uh, pizza with Greek cheese, smoked salmon, black caviar, um, red onions, tomato sauce, spicy mayo, chili flakes, banana slices, um, hmm, maybe some garlic, kebab pieces, tuna, sausage, and scrambled eggs on top, please? Oh, uh, yeah, make it extra toasted, too, if possible. No. Okay, uh, thank you. This is my first time ever going out with someone. Thanks for being my friend. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The mute and the loser. Never thought I'd see that loser out of his house. Guys, maybe we should just leave them alone? Like, what's the point? No, no. The point is, I was bored out of my mind. And now, the entertainment is finally here. Hey, Mute. I'm sure you are bored as hell, too. Like, who on this planet would enjoy hanging with such a boring loser like Chris? If you want to join our small gang and start going out with us, now's your chance. I guess you can think of this as an invitation to our friend group.
Well, that was fun. Excited to redo this tomorrow and every day from now on. Let's go, boys. I... I think I'm gonna go home. Hey, thanks for yesterday. <laughs> I was hoping we could do it again. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the place of learning and knowledge, the school. Today, we're moving on from math, but before this, a couple of students are needed at the principal's office. Chris, Ben, Twig, Denzel, and Mute. Go right now, and we'll start the test when you come back. Well, hello there, kids. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Two new kids, 200 new problems. What the hell? Chris here told me you guys beat the shit out of him yesterday, including the mute. You two new kids should have became friends instead of all this mess. Everyone here in this room are losing shit ton of marks because of this unacceptable behavior, including Chris for being such a loser. But all of you guys are losers too. Dismissed. See? You covered his ass yesterday, and how does he repay you? By snaking you. Stabbing your back. I have a revenge plan. He'll most likely invite you over tonight to make up for his betrayal. You go, make him feel comfortable, then me and the boys will pull up and teach him a lesson. Also, I've been seeing you a lot with Emma. Small advice, stay away from her. There's a lot of rumors about her. They say she's part human, part disgusting monster. Something like a werewolf, I guess, but hideous. Chris's house is the green one, by the way. Decide soon, mute. Welcome back, horrible students. Now, as I was saying... Hey, sorry. I don't know what happened. I don't even remember what I told him. I, I was pretty messed up. You want to come over tonight? I really want to make up with my best friend. We are still best friends, right? Alright, kids. Test time.
Test is done, kids.